The ACNC is committed to sharing charity data with the public, government and donors. One of the ways that we do this is by publishing our Australian Charities Report, which summarises the data reported by charities. Our recently released 10th edition of the Australian Charities Report covers data from the 2022 reporting period. The report is accompanied by the ACNC Charity Data Explorer. The Data Explorer has the ability to filter information based on charity size and subtype, as well as by postcode and state. It includes information about charity geography, revenue, assets, people, programs, DGR status, and establishment date. On the overview page, you can see information that summarizes charity data. If you would like to learn more about the charitable work undertaken in a particular area, you can use the postcode filter on the right. Type your postcode, then select it from the list. You can choose more than one postcode if you would like to see data for other nearby locations. This will filter the graphs to only show data for charities registered with an address in your selected postcodes. For example, let's have a look at the postcode 3956 in the South Gippsland region of Victoria. From the data submitted by charities, we can see that there were five charities based in the area. There were 13 paid employees and around 500 volunteers contributing to charitable work in this community. We can also see the types of charitable work undertaken during the reporting period. There was one charity with the purpose of preventing or relieving the suffering of animals, so that could be an animal hospital, for example. We can also see a charity with the subtype of advancing education, so that might be a non-government school or a preschool. HPC stands for Health Promotion Charity. Now that could be a community healthcare provider. And the PBI, or Public Benevolent Institution, could be a disability support service or an aged care provider, for example. There was also one charity registered under multiple subtypes, which means it's involved in more than one type of charitable work. If we have a look at the breakdown by charity size, we can see that two charities were extra small, meaning their annual revenue was under $50,000. We can see which charities were that size by clicking on extra small. So one charity is the animal charity, and the other is the health promotion charity. If you would like to go back to viewing all charity data, or you would like to select a different postcode, click the eraser icon to clear your current selection. You can also use filters for states and territories, as well as urban or regional areas. This allows you to see the different number and type of charities in a major city compared to rural areas. If we take a look at Victoria, for example, we can see the overall charity work in the state, or we can look closer at just remote Victoria. You can find the Data Explorer by visiting acnc.gov.au forward slash charity data.